State of Illinois, um, Representative Bigger. The First, gentlewoman. How much time as she'd like to consider? The gentlewoman from Illinois is recognized. Uh, thank you, and I thank the gentleman for for yielding me the time. And Madam Speaker, I would like to begin by thanking my colleagues, Senator Tom Carper and Susan Collins, and especially my co-chair of the High Performance Building Cauc- uh, Caucus, uh, Representative Rush Carnahan. And, and also Representative Pete Sessions for all their hard work in bringing this bipartisan uh, legislation before us today. The uh, Federal Buildings Person- Personnel Training Act of 2010 will save taxpayers uh, dollars, it's been mentioned many times, by putting uh, federal buildings on the cutting edge of energy efficiency and will help build expertise among America's workforce uh, needed for tomorrow's uh, green jobs. As my colleagues are are aware, the federal government is the nation's largest property manager with more than 500,000 buildings and structures worldwide. So this bill presents an opportunity to lead by example and to demonstrate the immense savings and efficiency that can be achieved by making smart investments in human energy uh, through the federal workforce. This bill will help ensure that federal buildings are operating at peak efficiency. It will equip federal employees who maintain our buildings with the resources they need to utilize green building technologies, implement industry's best practices, and cut energy costs for the public. Madam Speaker, uh, thanks to American scientists and engineers, we are making rapid strides in sustainable building technologies and designs, but the full rewards of this work, both to the environment and to taxpayers, cannot be realized unless our building managers have the training to utilize them. The Federal Buildings Personnel Training Act will require the General Services Administration to identify core uh, competencies uh, necessary for federal personnel to utilize high-performance building practices and technologies. The GSA uh, will then work with private industry and institutions of higher learning to create comprehensive continuing education courses to ensure that the federal employees know how to employ green technologies. This training will ensure that the federal government can meet its energy reduction goals and give a proper return on taxpayers' investment. Madam Speaker, American taxpayers are demanding a renewed focus on eliminating wasteful government spending, and this bipartisan bill presents an opportunity to do just that while cons- uh, conserving our domestic energy supply. The Federal uh, Buildings Personnel Training Act will put us on the forefront of, of building technology and transform our nation's uh, building stock for years to come. Just as importantly, it makes an investment in the training of our workforce that will help American workers compete for the green jobs of tomorrow. Uh, again, I'd like to thank the gentleman from Missouri, my colleague and, and co-chair of the, of the High Performance Building Caucus, for his hard work uh, in, in bringing forward this bill. And I'd like to thank uh, Chairman uh, Norton for her uh, support and Ranking Member uh, Micah and, uh, and, and particularly uh, Chairman Overstar, uh, he will certainly be missed here on this House floor, and, we, and I know that we all wish him well. So with that, I would urge my colleagues to support this bill and yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman yields back the balance of her time. The gentleman from Missouri is recognized. Uh, we had-